Hello there, I'm Andrea Giamarchi, Web Reflection, and I'm quite excited to show you my latest experiment, uh, which is based on basically um, putting together my, my, my knowledge in JavaScript. Uh, my, my, my knowledge is in configuring, or my experience in configuring also my own operating system, which is my own flavor of uh, an Arch, Linux, and GNOME configuration. Um, I've been working with this kind of prototype boards. Uh, this uh, Esprit No Pico is really this tiny. It's unbelievable how tiny it is. Um, I also wrote a book uh, long, not so long time ago, uh, which is uh, this one. So I've been dealing with JavaScript since the beginning, uh, 15 years. Well, not exactly the beginning, but for a very long time. I've seen the language moving from the browser to the server, and I'm finally Internet of Things talking about Internet of Things. Uh, this is the kind of hardware uh, I'm testing these days. Uh, we have uh, the one running right now is a Mino board. Uh, beside the Mino board we have a up board which is quite modern. It's probably the latest Intel uh, board. It's, it's, it's not from Intel but it's from the up board. Uh, doc. I don't remember, it's pretty cool, very powerful, it's actually a proper computer, you can do much more than just uh, some internet or minor internet of things uh, project. And then we have a QB um, Beagle Bone Black, which is a single core ARM V7, uh, a QB Board 2, which is a double core, um, all winner A20, uh, ARM V7 as well, a Raspberry Pi, I think that's the Model 3, um, an Android C2, or probably C1, I don't remember, uh, probably so, quad core, IRM V8, uh, 64 bits, and uh, this is an iCube. Um, and what's the project I'm excited about? Uh, it's called. Benja. <laughs> Benja, hi, that's me, you can see me. Um, so, Benja means, as you can read, bootable. Uh, Electron Node.js application. Um, what does it mean? Basically, it's a combination of JavaScript, uh, Node.js uh, through Electron, and configured into um, an Arch Linux flavor. So it's basically the bare minimal configuration you need to run Linux and to run uh, to bootstrap into a uh, kiosk, fully JavaScript driven thing. So in this case, the kiosk is just Electron, an Electron instance showing um, a website, which is a famous uh, Aquarium WebGL. And this is a full HD, a full HD for a Mino board, uh, which is a very <laughs> not so powerful Atom double core CPU. Um, and it's pretty smooth. It's actually pretty cool. Um, what else I have here? So here I have um, a Raspberry Pi 2. I'm gonna show you how badly I wired up this thing. So, um, well, there is this uh, official LCD. It's running out of a uh, micro SD. And it's attached to this breadboard. Um, it doesn't do much uh, so far. But yeah, this is a full kiosk application. This is actually um, a proper Electron instance running full screen. As soon as you boot the system, uh, you can have this application. In this case, the app, the main basic app, is telling me just the IP address uh, locally for my network and the resolution. And what happened if I click? Um, you didn't see that. Let me try again. Maybe you've noticed already. So yeah, basically I've configured Electron and through Johnny, Johnny5, um, Serial Port and Raspi GIO uh, using all Node.js based technologies and through Electron I'm actually able to create a web based interface that can interact uh, with things. So I basically created a full web based uh, and JavaScript based platform uh, for the Internet of Things. All these devices have some 
GPU capability. Uh, unfortunately, not all of them have open source driver, like the case of the Intel and partially also the case of Raspberry Pi. But yeah, you see that these little boards are capable of actually quite good performances. So what's the cool part about this Benja? How does it work? Basically, once you have once you have, as you can see here, for instance, we have the, the, the IP address. Um, I can just connect through SS, SSH. Um, for instance, I can um, SSH benja at uh, one thirty, and it's gonna the password by default is Benja as well. So I'm connected, I mean, uh, basically this is the system, is welcoming me, is telling me which platform it is and how does it work. Um, the, basically this, the, the single folder in the user Benja is the app and the app is actually, um, is actually uh, a mounting point apart. What does it basically mean? It means that if I remove, like I'm gonna do now, uh, if I remove the the app, or uh, let's say, I'm gonna do this, it's easier from the Mino board. If I remove from the Mino board the SD card, and I plug it into my computer, it's gonna mount instantly as a, as a regular, is a, is a FAT32, um, is mounted as FAT32, so basically every operating system can use it. You, you, you can use a Mac, a Windows, they're gonna read it, and you can work directly on the file if you wanna do that, um, or directly on, 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 on the entire project. The cool part is that, as you can see, now we are loading the aquarium, but if we wanna uh, load the funny CSS creator, I just save, I change my computer and all I have to do once I am in this folder, which is the same folder that is running and it's mounted automatically upon boot, um, npm start. Uh, that's basically all I need to do. And then I will see exactly what will happen once I use the app um, in my, in this case, my Mino board, but it could be the Raspberry Pi as well. So let's see if this is gonna work as smooth. Oh, volume is busy. Let's make it not busy. Um, let's see if, oh, again, I need to get out of my folder and exiting. Um, yeah, bye. It shouldn't be busy anymore, but I'm gonna exit. Oh, no, this is SSH, it has nothing to do. Um, yeah, I can amount, so I'm sure that I, I've saved the project. Um, I'm gonna plug it again. So right now, uh, I called SSH, or instead, once I've plugged in, I can just yeah reset, switch it on again. Um, by the way, the the, the 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 installer I'm using is fully compatible with uh, UEFI systems um, and. Uh, uh, of course, the performance at boot time depends on the CPU and also on how fast is your SD card. Um, this one is probably not the faster, but I should see already my change live. So yeah, I am on a mini board and I can play with the CSS creator and this is just what I've done. Um, I, could, I could repeat myself remotely uh, without changing the Pi. I'm gonna uh, connect to the Mino board, which is, I don't remember the address, I hope it's, yeah. Um, and I can also edit remotely. Uh, there is also an R R Mate um, support, so Armate is integrated in the distro, um, so you can actually edit on your favorite editor uh, remotely, which is pretty cool. Um, so index.js, let's go down, let's go the, let's load the default thing. Um, now I'm gonna reboot, 
uh, sudo. All, all configuration is done ready for us, so there's there's nothing to do. But what I would like to do is to find time to actually create uh, proper installers, create SDs card or pre pre uh, let's say uh, pre-installed uh, SD card. Have a way to distribute uh, the, the the entire system. Um, create documentation. Create a little community around the system um, because I think uh, using the web to, uh, to 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 make the web part of the Internet of Things is a. Uh, it's actually pretty cool. Uh, it was fun for me working on this. Um, please show your interest <laughs> anyhow. Uh, tweeting or uh, Facebook, Google+, whatever you think is going to work. Um, also on YouTube.